Did I go over my points? Pretty sure I did. Do I know how much? No. So, hi everyone. Welcome back for another weight loss update check-in. My last check-in with you was two weeks ago and at that point I had gained, I said 0.2 pounds, but it was actually 0.4 pounds. Um, from that weekend of binging on sweets if you if this is the first video you're seeing I definitely recommend going back to my weight loss playlist I'll link it in the cards above so you can kind of see where I started at and What the journey has been like so far. I am seven weeks in on my weight loss journey with Weight Watchers and I have almost completely fallen off track my week five weigh-in on June 5th that I had gained a little bit after that point that next week I kind of buckled back down had things back in order was tracking how I should have been and I stepped on the scale and this happened today is Wednesday June 12th and my current weight is 177.6 so I lost another pound in between June 5th and June 12th between week five and week six of my journey simply by just getting back on track and tracking things how I should be doing things the way that they're supposed to be done and not cheating here and there and fudging the system and not tracking because I think I can handle it in my head and all of that fun stuff so I stopped all of that for a week and I lost another pound still not exercising and then after that that following week is where it all went haywire and I there are no excuses for it because I kind of made a conscious decision not to care for that week and that was because it was my birthday on June 18th my next weigh in would be June 19th and I just decided that I wasn't gonna really care I was gonna enjoy my birthday we did kind of a whole weekend celebration and just whatever happened on the scale was gonna happen and I would deal with it after that. So that's kind of where my mentality was. On Saturday, we went to, um, I did pretty good on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as kind of per usual. I'm usually pretty good Wednesdays. Wednesday mornings are my weigh-in day, but I'm usually pretty good at tracking and keeping up with everything on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. It's when the weekend hits that I really have to fight a little harder but on saturday morning we went out to breakfast kind of for a father's day slash my birthday celebration and when we went out to breakfast i didn't really track but i also kind of kept in the back of my head i probably shouldn't have a double stack of pancakes with the tons of syrup on it so it came with two pancakes the thing i ordered but i only had one of them i had no butter on it and i used sugar-free syrup and then i had eggs and turkey bacon and I did have some hash browns so I didn't go crazy um, I kept that in the back of my head but I also didn't really care and didn't track points then throughout that day my girls both had t-ball games and we went to a birthday party so I basically just snacked on veggies at the birthday party there was pizza and I didn't have a single piece of that so I was pretty proud of myself there we had a barbecue at our house that night for my birthday slash father's day so I did have a turkey patty instead of a beef patty which is a lot less points but I didn't try to skip the bun I did have chips and stuff throughout the night um, lots of veggies still but again I didn't track any of it I really have no idea how many points I had it probably wasn't a crazy amount but it was probably more than what I should have and I did have I did have a chocolate chip cookie so I know that put it over a little bit as well and then Sunday was Father's Day and for all of the meals except dinner I did fine we went disc golfing so I had a lot of exercise and we had packed food and we got there they were just finishing up with a Father's Day tournament and they had a bunch of extra hot dogs that they offered to give us for free everyone else had one I didn't so I'm still on track of making better choices than I would have in the past but then we went to Red Robin for dinner that night and I had already decided in my head that I was gonna have what I wanted, which included way too many steak fries. So there's that. And then after that point, Monday and Tuesday, I just, it was my birthday on Tuesday and that's kind of where it really went bad because my favorite food is my homemade fettuccine alfredo pasta and oh my goodness, it is so good and it was so worth it. I made a small batch just enough for one serving because Anthony and the girls don't really like 
alfredo sauce so they i just put red sauce on theirs but i just made enough for one serving so that i could only eat one serving and not have leftovers the next day but i did have that for dinner for my birthday did i go over my points pretty sure i did do i know how much no so that's where we were at and then i stepped on the scale for my week seven weigh-in on june 19th and this is what happened today is wednesday june 19th and my current weight is 178. so i gained another 0.4 pounds and again i'm not i'm not super disappointed i'm kind of actually surprised it wasn't more than that but what i want to talk to you guys about right now is not giving up because i know by the comments and messages that i've received that a lot of you are watching my journey and finding inspiration and motivation from what i'm doing and many of you have said that you were on a weight loss journey you kind of fell off the wagon and watching my videos ha has given you the courage to start again and I'm so thankful that I'm able to do that for you guys to the people who are struggling right now I'm really talking to you with this but if you don't give up you can't fail and it's been really hard for me to kind of switch to that mentality before starting Weight Watchers because nothing really worked well for me and I gave up very often with this whole attempt to lose weight. Sometimes I would give up for a few weeks and try something different. Sometimes I would give up for months. The last time I gave up was probably about a year before I even tried to start anything different. So I know what giving up feels like and I know that in the moment it seems to be the easiest decision because in that moment your journey seems so difficult but you can only fail if you stop trying so yes i gained a little bit of weight back yes i did it consciously which is almost worse because i just decided i didn't really care and i definitely need to switch that mentality back to full force let's get this done mode but i'm not giving up so i know i can't fail i've already had people noticing my weight loss and that in itself is so validating because that moment where you are out in public, you see someone that you haven't seen and they ask if you've lost weight or tell you you look great. It feels so good to know that it's showing that what you're, the work you're putting in is actually showing and other people are noticing it. And I really don't want to go backwards. <laughs> I know I've gone backwards a little bit, but not enough to really affect things. So if you've watched the other videos in this weight loss journey series, you know that we have a 5k race coming up at the end of July and I have not started training for that yet at all. So that is definitely on my must start list within the next week or so. I have decided I'm going to use the couch to 5k app and it's an eight week program which we don't have quite eight weeks at this point but i'm just gonna start and do as much of it as i can because i know that whatever i can do is going to put me ahead of where i am now i need to keep reminding myself that the struggles that i'm dealing with today are just building those muscles up for the strength i'm gonna need for tomorrow so keep that in mind if you're struggling in the moment with anything in your life just keep in mind that those struggles and how you're dealing with them is preparing you to give you the strength you need to handle that later on the road's going to be bumpy any journey that involves life change is always bumpy and if you expect it to be smooth definitely change that mindset right now it's going to be bumpy expect those bumps in the road but when you get to those bumps don't view them as mountains just view them as those little bumps that you just need to push over because it makes it a lot less daunting to think of them that way i have not been perfect on this journey i know i will make more mistakes I'm trying to get my mindset back into the go mode that I had been the first four weeks and it's a struggle. I'm going to keep pushing so that I know I can't fail because that failure is only final if I quit. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed already and want to follow along on our journey, definitely click that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification next to it 
because YouTube likes to sometimes not notify people when videos are posted so you don't even have to worry about it if that bell is clicked. As always, make sure you stay humble and be kind and I will see you guys on Friday.